Greetings, and welcome to the final episode for the season of Hiawatha Peak, your sneak peek into the 40th annual Hiawatha Traditional Music Festival going on July 20th through the 22nd at Marquette's Tourist Park coming up next week. I'm Rusty Bowers, and I will be your host on this musical preview of one of the area's finest annual events. In this show, you will get to hear some of the music from the bands you will see on the various stages of Hiawatha next week, as well as hear from some of the band members themselves. We'll also get great info from some of the folks that work so hard to bring you this fantastic local festival. Let's find out how you can get more information about the festival, and even more important, how you can get tickets. For more info, you can go to our website at www.hiawathamusic.org or you could visit the Hiawatha Music Co-op office in our brand new location at 1015 North 3rd Street in the Village Shopping Center. Our phone number is 906-226-8575. That's 906-226-8575. As of yesterday, July 12th, advanced ticketing is now finished. However, if you go to Uptone Music or Jim's Music, both on 3rd Street and Marquette, you might still be able to get tickets at the lesser advanced ticket rate. They are ticket outlets for us, and they may still have some pre-festival tickets available. So go visit them at Uptone Music or Jim's Music and see if they have any left. Otherwise, you may purchase tickets at the gate when you come to the festival at the gate price. Our first group this week is grounded in the old field of grassroots music and nourished by the sounds of the 21st century. Helping set spot fires of locally bred music by hosting picking parties called Whiskey Fridays, they have blazed a trail of bona fide homespun singing and award-winning songwriting from New England to the Midwest to the South and back again. The first song of theirs you'll hear is called Cumberland Blues, and it is the theme for our show that they have graciously allowed us to use. Ladies and gentlemen, here is John Gillette and Sarah Middlefelt. former volunteer and board member of the Hiawatha Music Co-op. Looking forward to welcoming a growing crowd at this year's 40th festival. Happy Hiawatha! This is what I'll do. This is what I'll do, this is what I'll do, this is what I'll do, and I get back to you. Well, I'll start me a band and go on tour, get a million people walks to the door, believe me now, every word is true. That's what I'll do, 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 and I get back to you. And I won't wait another second, I'll ring that hand before you beckon, oh yeah, my batch of days through. 
That's what I'll do. 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 And I get back to you. I cut my hair and become a teacher Even though I never was too good at school That's what I'll do That's what I'll do That's what I'll do That's what I'll do And I get back to you And I'll have a farm with a goat named Bubba Wash And a galvanized tub as cleanliness Next to godliness too That's what I'll do 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 And I get back to you And when we get that winter time feeling, we'll catch the next flight to New Zealand. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. And I get back to you. I'll sit on the front porch, learn me the fiddle And you can play bass with the family in the middle And every night we'll pick out a different tune That's what we'll do That's what we'll do That's what we'll do That's what we'll do And I get back to you I'll pack a matchbook stack, a compass, and a topographical map So I can find out where the heck I'm going to That's what I'll do 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 And I'll get back to you That was John Gillette and Sarah Middlefelt. We sure would like to thank them for letting us use their song as our theme So much great music affiliated with the Hiawatha Music Festival a couple Thursdays ago, Black Rock's Brewery released the new Hiawatha Ale, a very tasty beverage I highly recommend. I believe it will be available in cans this week at Econo Foods and probably a number of local stores. Call ahead to see if your favorite store is carrying this ale. Otherwise, you can go to Black Rock's and get it on tap and buy the six-pack. A portion of the proceeds from sales will benefit the Hiawatha Music Co-op. Last night was our Hiawatha kickoff concert featuring the Cooley Boys at the Ordock Brewery. Many people came out to celebrate the kickoff of our festival and to sign up for their volunteer shifts. Now there are still spots left for you to volunteer, and all you have to do is sign up for your shifts online by going to our hiawathamusic.org website. After the break, we will talk a bit about camping and parking, and we'll hear some music from a couple of our main stage performers. You're listening to Hiawatha Peak, your sneak peek into this year's Hiawatha Music Festival. Jim's Music in Marquette has a well-trained and friendly staff waiting to serve you. They have a full-time manager and a great repair team, including a member of the National Association of Professional Band Instrument Repair Technician on staff. Our customers are guaranteed the highest level of quality service when they come to Jim's Music. Our staff not only loves the products we carry, we also love music. We are ready to answer any questions you may have. Located at 1212 North 3rd Street in Marquette, Jim's Music. We want to be a part of your musical experience. Ludie's Flower Shop. One shop, one location. Premium flowers, premium service. A full service flower shop offering custom floral designs, wedding floral, party bouquets, sympathy and get well arrangements. Also a nice selection of plants, balloons and stuffed animals. We deliver flowers in Marquette and surrounding towns. We're excited to welcome the Hiawatha Music Co-op as our new neighbor. Ludie's Flower Shop, the best little flower shop in Marquette. Located at 1015 North 3rd Street in the Village Shopping Center. Hey, this is Jeff Krebs. And Jake Kuhlman. And we are super stoked to let you know that your new music store, Youptone Music, is now open on 3rd Street in Marquette. Right, Jake? You betcha. We have an outstanding collection of guitars, ukuleles, amps, and instruments of all kinds. We've also got tons of music accessories like strings, sticks, and reeds. We do repairs, rentals, music lessons, and we love to buy and sell used gear, right, Jake? You betcha. So come on, see us today at Youptone Music Village Shopping Center, North 3rd Street, or check us out at youptone.com. Right, Jake? Yeah, you betcha. Returning as a food vendor to the Hiawatha Music Festival this year is the Copper Crust Company, a mobile wood-fired pizza oven. 
Using quality products, their pizzas are cooked quickly and are ready to eat. They use all natural products and premium ingredients. They have many unique combinations. A family-run organization, they love working for Hiawatha. It's one of their busiest weekends. Great family atmosphere. The people are so nice and always so polite. So during the festival, stop by the Copper Crust Company and pick up a hot and fast pizza. Welcome back to Hiawatha Peak. Our next band is an American music band based in Lansing, Michigan. And this summer, they're reuniting with their original singer and guitar player, Joshua Davis, who was recently on NBC's The Voice. Here's Steppin' In It. Guys, this is Joshua Davis from Steppin' In It. Uh, I grew up coming to Hiawatha, and um, some of my fondest musical memories are there. I was in the Kids Parade, Frank Youngman's Kids Parade, and uh, <clears throat> it taught me that music like this needs to stay alive, and, and uh, it showed me the value of community and the way that music can be a gathering point for that. I saw incredible acts like Dave Van Ronk and Spider John Corner, and Joel Mavis, of course, uh, rocked my world when I was just a, a, a little kid. And um, uh, we are honored and so excited to be back at the festival this year. We're looking forward to it in July. We'll see you there. Happy Hiawatha.
That was the Bone Tones, based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Straight ahead traditional Cajun dance hall music from the prairies and bayous of southwest Louisiana. Now, we are always looking at the best ways to make all Hiawathans fit into the campground at the festival. This year we will again enlist the help of our campground ushers. Look for the red aprons on Friday when you arrive. They are stationed around the campground to help each of you find a spot to put your tent or camper up. Last year, we also employed our new motto of squeeze, please. Please don't waste space with unnecessary vehicles. And please allow room for other Hiawathans by not having tents and campers circled round, which also waste space. This year, we are also having a tiered system for our camping tag prices, so check the info page for sizes and prices before you get your stuff. After a quick break, we will hear more music from some of our main stage performers. You're listening to Hiawatha Peak, your sneak peek into this year's Hiawatha Music Festival. Dead River Coffee will be returning to Hiawatha this year to take care of all of your caffeine needs. A unique coffee roaster and server in Marquette, the longest existing roaster in the area. Fresh roast of coffees from around the world on a daily basis. They've won the Mining Journal Best Coffee two years in a row. People like to buy their coffee both whole bean and by the cup because of the richness and taste. Visit them at the festival this year and in their shop at 119 West Barriga Avenue in Marquette. White's Party Store is your locally owned stop for quality wines, beers, liquors, and the delicious gourmet meats and cheeses to go with them. With their friendly staff and service, they'll help you find exactly what you're looking for and possibly your new favorite drink. Open seven days a week, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Sunday, high noon to 9. White's Party Store, located on 3rd Street in Marquette, right across from Togo's. Welcome back to Hiawatha Peak. Don't forget, even though advanced ticket sales are over for the festival, you may still be able to get them by going to Jim's Music and Uptone Music on 3rd Street. They may still have some left, so go check them out. Hailing from the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, our next band is familiar with the traditions of folk music and how a string band is supposed to sound. In fact, they've been drawing on those steadfast traditions for more than a decade. Here are the Steel Wheels. Turn in your tin k 
cans Now flowers grow up in the sidewalk Like they can see and hear and talk the talk and walk the walk broken mandolin Three dollars to five You've got to spend some real money The prices keep going up But they never get me where I'm going Stocked up on old cigarettes the day's regret Gave an earthy shining to the midday sun Stopped to grin at the music he was playing on his broken mandolin from the Vote Sisters. We're super excited to be in Michigan for the first time and singing at the Hiawatha Festival, no less. See you soon, and happy Hiawatha. Rode into St. Joe just the other day Covered in a dusty shawl Looking for the place where my baby boy lay His head on a rocky floor, floor His head on a rocky floor Carrying a clipping of a borderline bra Seven young men are dead Soon will be eight Cause the hangman's noose Gonna fall around with his head, Lord Fall around with his head
And the sheriff too found himself at the judge's door Begging for a word with a willy boy Before he takes the gallows floor, floor Before he has to walk the floor Darkest night, hailing his life away, Lord, hailing his life away, turning his face away, my Lord, turning his face away. That was the Vote Sisters. We'd like to thank you for joining us for our final episode this year of Hiawatha Peak. We hope that we've given you some valuable information and helpful tips in your planning for this year's festival. We'd also like to thank our wonderful sponsors, Youptone Music, Ludie's Flower Shop, White's Party Store, Copper Crust Company, Jim's Music, and Dead River Coffee. Don't forget to go to our website, www.hiawathamusic.org, to get your information about tickets, camping, and volunteering at the Hiawatha 40th Annual Traditional Music Festival, July 20th through the 22nd. See you next week at the Tourist Park. Until then, happy Hiawatha! <laughs>